Are those my cabinets? Those are your cabinets. <laughs> nice. cabinets and we're gonna vote to cut the next one. When I push, enter. Program's been done. Woo! This is crazy, man. This is nuts. You know what I mean? This is wild. So cool. It's crazy how it cuts out all the little inserts and stuff too. Yeah, yeah. That's so awesome. Welcome down to video number two. And uh, you guys confused? I am. I have no idea what's happening here. Those are the bottom of my cabinet and the top of my... The, the bottom of the top of my cabinet and the top right. left of my cabinet. And in here, we've mortised it all out so we can fit all the pieces in. So all I heard from over there is Chrome, can you take some of those cabinets out? We need to make some space, it's about that time. I ain't good at making stuff, but I sure can rip it out. All right guys, let's start ripping these out. I have all of these furniture cabinets mounted in here with just some L brackets against the wall, back there, and a bunch of them along the floor here. That's disgusting, buddy. Nice. So make a couple of pieces go in there. Oh, awesome. That is so cool. Stand it up, glue, done. And then that top goes on top of it? Then this top, we cut it, cut it, and so you can put your uh, thing back on top. Basically it goes like that. And then we put a profile around the outside. Just a quick profile, just make it nice and clean. Just like that. You see on the top of my cabinet where it's got that big section of useless space in there? Well, that's what he's done over here, but made a good use of that space. So instead of just having dead space, we've created essentially the same thing. So when you open it up, <laughs> more storage. Yeah, and he's gonna put a couple dividers in there so I can throw whatever. It is and away you go. Dude, that's so cool. And what I'll do is I'll leave them removable so you can pull it up and put bigger things in and then slide them back in when you need it. This is the full replacement cabinet for the other one. We've made this one a little bit shorter because you guys will see what's going on, on the other side and maybe in tomorrow's video. But this stuff is like, it's real wood. It ain't gonna break apart, ain't gonna fall apart. These aren't gonna sag like that poor one over there sags like crazy. It sags so much that I can't even get the bottom drawer out anymore. Yeah. 
Here, let me show you. That's the problem with doing like cheap particle board stuff. It's probably all the maple syrup that soaked into that that made it do this. But right here, all of this stuff is sagging because if there's soup cans in this drawer, it's put weight on here and separated it from there. It's separated it from up here, making the bottom drawer really hard to open. And on a cabinet design, they shouldn't have put this drawer on the bottom. Much like Andy did it, this one should have been on the top, so the bottom one had more stability. But it's flexing. You can actually see the drawers move by just me putting pressure on it with my hand. But this drawer doesn't come all the way out because this sags down too deep. But that's, that's about it. Fingers crossed we can preserve this, which is a uh, double-sided tape. Oh, we did. Oh, sweet. Everything I did have on here was literally double-sided tape or Velcroed to the counter. Including my uh, power strip that I had mounted to the side of that cabinet, it was just Velcro to the side of the cabinet and it worked out well. you want to please don't be polite cause i like your attitude let's forget about a curfew cause all that is stuck in my head it's me and you both speed and my heart is racing but i'm not sure i wanna pace it cause it only does this with you while we're in the midst of doing renovations in the van I had a thought today. I thought about moving my propane tank into this cupboard here. Because having the propane tank mounted in the back of the van, if somebody were to hit the back of my van, this big one is sitting right there. It's too risky. So now that I have got this opportunity, I might just be sticking my propane tank in here, which makes it a whole lot easier to shut it off all the time because for me to shut the propane tank off, I gotta go back, unlatch it, open up the drawer, tighten it. We're here, I can just reach in, screw the cap, done. Look at that. <laughs> Watch your noggin. Safety third, buddy. So we gotta go back, because we have that in there. Now it's gotta go back almost an inch. These little things I unscrewed are what held the other drawers in because in there where my propane, right there where my propane tank was, I kind of made these drawers not fully intact so when they slid in they went around the propane tank. But here's the thing about using home furnishings. It's great and it's pretty but when your van rocks around a lot and you take the drawers in and out a lot, well, yeah. <laughs> it looks beautiful and it's great, but this is literally how easy they're falling apart. <laughs> hey, but you know what? If this is what you got to do to start van life, rock it. You don't really realize how flimsy this stuff is until people start making you like real manufactured cabinets. You start to realize that this stuff is just cheap particle board. Now that I got all this open space down here, what am I going to do with it? I'm actually going to take the drawers that were intact in the front and slide them in the back, yeah. making good use of that cabinet. Boom! And everything is like counter sunk in there? Is that, was that, yeah, would that be the it's term? It's mortised in. It's mortised in, yeah. Mortised? Yeah, man, like these are like... Like that's a forever thing. Yeah. Not gonna break. Wow. Not today, not tomorrow.
guys believe this is really happening? <laughs> Amazing. Let's go take a look at the inside of the van. The more stuff that gets cut, the more stuff that I see, the more I'm getting excited about getting rid of my home furnishings. After seeing the work that goes into it and the feel of like the new cabinet, now I know why people go out and spend $10,000, $20,000 doing full complete van builds. The home furnishings did me well and I am super happy that I bought them when I did because it's gotten me to where I am today in my van build. But now I know why there's so many people out there that like to flip that expensive bill. So if you watch these channels and you're like, how can people spend 10 grand on a van build? Well, today I learned why, because those things are rock solid. Anyway. Andy's in the office working on something, so let's go check out and see what he's doing. He's been in there fiddling around on the computer. Um, we're designing, one second. So he's designing faces to go on the front of the drawers. Not just regular drawer faces, but he's designing stuff that's going to be cut by the big CNC machine. So he is in there right now working on something. All right, Andy, what are you working on? <laughs> So I'm starting to create the tool paths for the small little 16th inch bit to go through and cut out your logo. Sweet. Yeah. So, so far on the design, we're putting the Weirdos Unite logo on the front face of the top drawer. <laughs> yeah. And that's just a start. It's nice. getting better. has been putting in the work. Um, I wish you guys could see what was going on in the computer. How long do you figure you've been tinkering around with that? I don't know, three, four hours. Yeah, four we're playing around with all the funky design on the front of the cabinets. And when we look at the progression, cause he's just been copying and pasting every time we change an idea, to see the progression on how simple it went to how crazy and chaotic it was at the end. Um, I wish the camera could have captured the screen a little bit better. But anyway, I'm gonna let this guy go home. I'm gonna get in my van, go park down the street somewhere and get a good night's sleep. We will see you guys um, tomorrow. Cheers. Out. Bye. Adios. All right, I'll see you tomorrow morning. And you too. Hit that button right there. That's an important one. It says Patreon. Right, buddy? Right? All right, we are.